Hi guys, it's me. Sorry, been a while. Been about five days actually. I'm, I just kind of got involved in my holiday and doing some fun stuff and getting my stuff organized. But I thought I would do a bit of a compilation of scammers that crack the shits and blocked me quite quickly too. So very similar to the last one. There is a longer term scam bait that I am working on, but he's a little bit lazy. So in the meanwhile, I want to introduce you to Jimmy Barnes. This one may or may not continue. I don't think it will. I think I'm being too difficult. Thank you for your love and your support, my dear. Mwah. May God bless you immensely for me, said no Australian Scottish singer ever. I said, tell me, Jimmy, what time was it when you sent that message above? Let me know what your timestamp says, okay? Because as you guys can see, it was quarter past 11 on a Tuesday night, which Jimmy would never do that. He didn't come back. I said, don't know. Don't know what country you're meant to be in. A laughing emoji, didn't think so. Get a real job, Omar. And I thought that would be it. But no, he sends me a voice note, which I've put up as a short already. But this is more of an illustration. The voice, the accent is very good. I need to say that. Um, but... Again, we know this is not real, but it just highlights the dangers of what AI is going to do and how difficult it is going to uh, be to discern it. So please share this with especially your elderly family members who don't know about technology. So here we go. Hey, Finnish Juliana. Um, how are you doing today? I understand why you're being skeptical here. I'm aware that there are people out there impersonating me. Um, my management team and higher authorities are working diligently to identify and bring justice to these imposters. So far, we succeeded in apprehending some of them. So rest assured, it's me, Jimmy Barnes. So feel free to have a peaceful and honest conversation with me on the Microsoft Teams app. We can also do a FaceTime call on there too. Hope my message make you smile. So obviously, yes, the voice, it's Jimmy Barnes. They've downloaded that voice app that can actually change to a celebrity. There are some issues there and anyone who would be Australian and would know Jimmy would potentially know that there would be some swearing involved as well. Uh, he sounds a lot rougher than that, but there you go. I said, what time was that first message sent? Voice notes are easily faked, which Jimmy himself spoke about only recently. Tell me, what time did you send your opening message? If you tell me that, we can move to Google Chat where you and I can have that FaceTime conversation. You, me and Jane, won't that be nice? Now, he hasn't been back. I don't think he will be back. But I, I think that he's a little bit more advanced. He's using Microsoft Teams. I do have a fake Teams account, obviously. Never occurred to me to use it, but that might be the way to go. They have some really good filters. So there we go. That was uh, Jimmy. If he comes back, I will obviously do it. A part two. Now I want you to meet Hugh Jackman. Um, I said, why are you sending messages in the comment section, fake Hugh? Hello, my dear. How are you doing? He says, not reading the above at all. I said, hello, fake Hugh. I'm doing great. I'm good, he said, even though no one asked. Where are you chatting from? I said, that's good, fake Hugh. I'm from the same place Hugh is originally from. And in response to that's good fake you, he goes, nice, smiley face, obviously not reading. And how is weather over there? I said, well, seeing as it's winter, it's cold fake you. To which he just puts a smiling emoji. How long have you been my fan and have you ever attend my concert slash show? Because that's what Hugh Jackman did, but doesn't now and the scammers wouldn't know. So he's got his scams mixed up. I said, what show is that fake, Hugh? And what concert exactly? Name one. Thought you were pretending to be an actor, but I guess for this it doesn't really matter, does it? And then he'd read it and didn't say anything. I said, you're not very erudite, are you? I'm just saying, maybe aspirin would help. To which my absolute genius comes back with, okay. And then I said, yeah, didn't think so. Now, he was active 29 minutes ago, but he hadn't spoken to me since Monday. So, you know, hopefully he's not having any success. <laughs> this Jimmy wasn't having any issues. He was not going to put up with any of 
any questions, any bullshit. Hey there, he said. I wanted to say thanks for being an awesome fan and supporting my work. I appreciate it and wanted to take a moment to say hello and thank you. Hope you have an amazing time. They have much better grasp of the English. The South African scammers quite often do. Might be South African. I don't think so, though. I said, oh, goody, another Jimmy with rubbish English. Lucky me. Let's see if this one has a different script. To which he very indignantly says, I'm sorry if you have encountered imposters claiming to be me, but my management team are working on eradicating all of that. To which I went, ah, you're going to go with that one. I think the next part is you telling me how the FBI are working with your management to eradicate these fakes who, quote, scorn women in your name. Do I have that right? To which my above average IQ scammer came back with, if you have a problem with my imposters, I understand, but I'm here trying to thank you for your love and support. Have a nice day. He just wasn't having any of it. To which my response was, run, Moogle, run. And bang, he blocked me immediately. He was not having any doubts. I don't think they're having much luck. I'm taking this, the fact that they're not arguing about it, I'm taking this as a sign that they're actually meeting obstacles and they're just not bothering. They're just, you know, kind of throw a line out and if a million fish nibble at it, if one catches, that's fine. Don't bother with the rest. So they're not wasting time, which is a win for us in a way. Now here's a mildly interesting one, but a very lazy scammer. I want you to meet Brian May and I will show you his account very shortly and I'm lucky that I recorded this because he restricted me, didn't block me, restricted me from his account. But I made a, a little 30 second video showing his atrocious account. This is Brian May writing to you directly, said my scammer Loveheart. Thank you for your good likes and comments. The support you show me is it showed me is unbelievable. I hope you never stop believing in my acting aspirations. Rose, Rose, love heart, says the man who had no idea who Brian May from Queen was. So I said, I'm afraid I'll need some proof of that, thanks. Simply saying so isn't sufficient, given today's climate online. Thank you. Especially given the lackadaisical profile you're utilizing. Tisk tisk. I'll show you that profile now. Here we go. This is the, I, thank God I recorded it. Look at this stupid account. This is Brian May, guys. Right? Even the comments. So this is clearly a scammer, obviously. He's used this before. Right? They're pretending to be some sort of Pakistani dude. And then what he's done, right? This goes back. And what he's literally done today is 48 minutes ago, He's changed, saying that he's a digital creator, right, um, from Queen. They think we're stupid, honestly. They absolutely think we're dumb. So, in response to, I'm afraid I'll need some proof of that, thanks. He goes, oh, so sorry about that. Since when have you been my fans? In plural. I said, you're sorry about your clearly fake account. So you should be. It's insulting. And remember, this is Brian May, the actor. And in response to since when have you been my fans, I said, of who? Because, you know, who knows who he was meant to be going by his profile. To which he says, I understand all that. I have been working on it to stop those impersonators online claiming to be me. I said, then maybe stop using such a ridiculous account. And in response to of who, he goes, this is Brian May writing to you directly. Because saying it out loud's enough. I said, how many different people have you pretended to be using this nonsensical account? And prove it, mate. I bet you can't. I, personal, open this account to chat with my lovely fans. Doubles down my Brian May. To which I just sent laughing emojis and called him ridiculous. And in response to bet you can't as improve it, he goes, yes, but you know, it's not that easy. Yes, it is, scammers. You guys have no idea. Scammers watching. That, that's not a thing, you know. I'm just telling you. 
their management don't stop people from using phones, you bunch of fuckwits. Anyway, off on a rant. I said, have a look at the mess of an account you're expecting people to believe. And in response to yes, but you know that it's not that easy. I said, you think we're stupid and it's insulting. Get a real job. Come on. I believe a video call will clear your doubt towards me. And I thought, oh yeah, goody. So I said, then do it. Waiting. Got all my recording stuff ready. To which he says, okay, all I want you to do for me is trust me and be honest with me. So I knew that it was going to come with conditions. I went, you and your clearly fake Pakistani account. And in response to that whole thing of trust, I said, I've been honest. You're the one not being honest. I think you're full of shit. There, that's honest. How beautiful, Juliana, came the puzzled response. How long have you been my fans? He tries again to divert me. I said, by claiming to be anyone famous, you're a fake. I tried calling. He hung up. I said, coward, go away. I tried another call. I tried a video call. He, he just, he would hang up. He wouldn't even answer. He'd just hang up the call after two rings. I said, coward, go away, fake. I'm busy now. I will call you later when I'm done, he says, and sends a photo of Brian May that is available online. I said, don't bother, Moogle. So, in response to the photo, come on, fans, you have to believe me, he said, so frustrated. I said, doesn't mean anything, you're a liar. And said who? Around believing him. I said, you think we're stupid, it's fucking insulting. Come on, dear, you don't have to say that, was his response to me calling him a liar. I said, call or go away. And, but you are a liar. Okay, later, he said, and restricted me. Didn't block me from the account, just restricted me. So he may be back. As you can see, he's active now. And I can actually see that he's active. So it's only a restriction. I think he's just uh, realized that if options are thin on the ground, he'll come back to the one person who 100% will waste his time and talk to him. Now I want you to meet Mathers Marshall Bruce. Because that's obviously how Western names work. He's blocked me. So I did manage to get some information uh, quickly. He, apparently he started school at Lincoln Way East High School yesterday, right? And then he uploaded these photos. Also, every one of his contacts were his friends in Nigeria. I think he was using his own account. That's right. Some of the posts that he had um, were literally... All his own private posts from, you know, 2017 and all he'd done at the end was change the name at the top. He had all his own friends following him. And the Muppet left his location on. So he was in Burnan Kebi in Nigeria in the township and absolutely had completely forgotten. A little bit like our Brian May. So we had a very short chat. Very short. Hello, thank you for the likes on my page and all the support shown as a special fan of mine. I hope you don't stop listening to my music. You know, this one, guys. Thank you so much for the morale push. It has been your prayers and support, praise and support that has kept me at my best. May the good Lord bless and guide you. Love heart. I said, what on earth? Whose account are you using and how's Nigeria? I said, you start high school yesterday? Oh my god, this is the sloppiest profile I've seen so far from someone pretending to be famous. Didn't think he'd come back, but he did. I know, right? He said. It's not actually my account, but a fan gave it to me because my account was found, but my management and they took it down. Whatever that means. I went, that's bullshit. What a total load of nonsense. Do you guys think we're stupid? And bang blocked me. Again, wasn't having the argument. Realised he'd effed up. <laughs> Meet Hugh Jackmans. I may have done this one before. If I have, bear with me. Forgive me on that. Hi, pretty face, said no Australian. I know this is like a dream to you. Thanks you for being a fan. I said, no, it isn't like a dream to me. I get 10 of these a day. To which he said, you should block any imposter claiming to be me. 
I said, I report and delete every single person who messages me claiming to be famous unless they can prove themselves. That's simple internet safety. And I don't believe someone just because they say they're real. That would be silly, wouldn't you agree? To which he said, yes, I totally agree with you, beautiful, and I can be able to prove myself to clear any doubt, beautiful. Throwing those beautifuls in there because that was supposedly supposed to strike a, a chord in a, any woman and make us a little bit more malleable to manipulation. I said, that's good. Please do so. All right, beautiful. Are you on Telegram? I said, Telegram? The app that the creator of is now facing charges of allowing scammers and pedos to use the site? No, nobody decent uses it. So what app do you want us to communicate? Are you on Google Chat? He said. I said, this is fine, thanks. After you prove you are who you claim to be. Thanks. Okay, I understand if you're scared. We can be able to communicate on Google Chat that I'm going to proof myself I don't usually come online much on Facebook. Ay ay ay. I said, if I move to Google, I am expecting proof immediately. And it isn't about being scared. You are, by last count, the 56th fake you to message me. So I am highly sceptical, and as per your own assurances, proof will be provided immediately. Correct? Then I continued. And I'm sure I'll see you active on Facebook quite often, on this account. Correct? Yes, I believe so beautiful, says my Muppet, who completely didn't understand it. Where are you located? I said, I'm from the same place as you're from, which he love hearts. And in response to yes, I believe so beautiful, I said, exactly. So no need to move, is there? You can go ahead and show the proof. Thanks. All right, nice meeting you here. I'm glad you're a fan and always supporting me. I'm going to show you the proof you need when we communicate on Google Chat. I said, I'm sorry, it'll have to be immediate. No diversionary tactics. Sent an email anyway, in case the guy does want to hit me up. I said, I'll be waiting for the proof. Thanks. All right, beautiful. I'm going to send you a text when I'm less busy, okay? I said, Anna, seeing as you said you're never active here, I can safely assume I won't be seeing you active here all the time. Then, huh? And in response to sending me a text, I said, sure, sure, if you say so, I'll hold my breath. Okay, beautiful, but I will prefer we talk on Telegram if it's all right with you, he tries again. I said, just as I've said before, the CEO is being charged because he's allowed scammers on the platform. It's all over the news. How do you not know this? Nobody decent uses it, certainly not a single uh, actor who wants to remain decent. It is now being monitored by the authorities. Why would an actor want to be associated with a criminal like the creator of Telegram? which slowed him down a little bit. Okay, beautiful. Still with the beautifuls. I totally understand what you mean. I'm going to text you on Google Chat when I'm less busy, okay? I said, I'll hold my breath. Irony and sarcasm withstanding, clearly. And I take it you will not be active on this platform then at all, seeing as you asked me to move. I'm kind of busy, beautiful. Hold on to my text. Google, uh, text on Google Chat. We can talk more better there. I said, yeah, so you keep saying, I'm just making sure that I will not see you active here anymore, that's all. Correct? Seeing as you said you're not on here much. I am, so I take it I won't see you here. We can, you can still be able to communicate with me here only, but I'm not actually active here on Facebook, he says, contradicting himself. I said, so either you communicate on here or you don't, which is it? You said you're not on here. If you are, then send proof here. If you aren't, then I'm expecting not to see you active here, right? Brackets. In this time, you could have already shown proof, so now I'm wondering, hmm, prevaricating much? Then I prefer we communicate on Google Chat. I'm going to show you the proof there. Hold on to my text. I said, yes, you're prevaricating. Gotcha. Typical. And he went away for a day or two and came back with this. Most of you have seen it already, but I thought I'd add it in there anyway. Hi there, Finnish. It's really me. No need to worry. It's so nice to meet you here. <laughs> to which I went, where did your accent go, fake you? But thanks for the video. I haven't laughed that hard for a minute. To which his response was, yeah. 
And I went to send exactly make better choices with your life. But he'd restricted me. Didn't block me though. So that's why I added that in there again. Sorry if I'm doubling up. I keep forgetting. Now meet Marshall Bruce Mathers III. Hello, gorgeous. Mwah. It's a great. Another Eminem who's had gender reassignment surgery. Do we call you Emily now? What? Came the response. What are you talking about? I said, never mind. Clearly another nonsensical Eminem. You guys with your ridiculous profiles claiming you're someone famous shaking my head. You all think we're stupid. Oh, you're using the word nonsensical on me. I said, if it fits. Sorry if I did wrong by texting you, okay? Have a good night. I said, run, Mugu. What's that? He said. I said, thought you were leaving in an unironic baby half nonsensical fake Eminem. Especially given what M himself said, shaking my head. You amateurs are the funniest. Thanks for your insultive words. Insultive. He's in invented a word. I said, you're welcome. Now go away. Thanks. To which he said to thumbs up and vanished. Hasn't blocked me. He's still active and using the account. Now meet Hugh Jackman. I was actually taking out time to appreciate my fans worldwide and I came across you, love heart, droopy flower. I said, uh -huh. And are you seriously trying to claim you're someone famous? Because that's ridiculous. You know that, right? This was another one who got his... Uh, profile absolutely ass backwards. Are you one of my fans? Was the response. Of course I'm the real Hugh Jackman. No need for me to be explaining myself if you don't believe that's your fault. Trying that tactic. I said, then you're clearly not Hugh. He has men mentioned this issue with you fake several times. So the fact that you're unironically incensed about it shows me you're about 19 and playing silly games. Make better choices with your life. I know that says cloves with your life, but he didn't notice either. And this is what he had on his profile, right? So he had his Hugh Jackman profile picture with Ryan Reynolds and one of his photos. He'd forgotten to check the entire profile when he was reusing it. I said, how are you expecting anyone to believe you when your profile is this? And I just sent an insane amount of laughing emojis. Didn't think he'd come back. I was actually taking out time to appreciate my fans worldwide and I came across you, love heart, droopy rose, on Sunday, about a week later. So he hadn't even bothered to read the previous chat. I said, for fuck's sake, why are you messaging me? You've been caught out or didn't you read the previous chat? Just taking the photo off your profile doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And it shows how sloppy and lazy you were when changing the name. Tisk tisk. Because there was a week between those chats. Not really, came the response. I said, yes, you are sloppy and you think we're stupid. This is my real fans page. I don't really know what you are talking about. I said, that's why you're back. You haven't got any clients. But if you don't believe me, it's okay, okay with that. I said, nonsense. Thank you. I said, you're nonsensical and clearly still a child. And in response to, but if you don't believe me, it's okay with that. I said, you keep saying that and yet you keep coming back. Because he's come back three times now. So I resent that photo. I went, Muggle. This is not my account, he said. I can't say anything with you if you don't believe me. That's fine, okay. Which he's already said about four times. I said, you also had a gender reassignment surgery, apparently, because the gender was female. You don't know who you're dealing with, he said. I said, then why are you back? You coming to beg? Are you one of my fans? He asks again. And in response to you don't know who you're dealing with, I said, ooh, I'm dealing with a child from a village. Okay, that's good, he said. And in response to, are you one of my fans? I said, you have none. You wish you were famous, little muggle of mine. To which he simply put, I'm. And then put in champagne glass. Cheers. So in response to, I'm, I said, I'm. I said, you're illiterate as well. I was right. No clients and a village boy. Okay, that's good, he said. I said, go away. You're not smart enough for this. What are you really talking about? Well, it's fine. Sorry, a boy. What are you really talking, a boy? Well, it's fine, he repeats again. I said, why are you back? 
because again they'd been a gap. Have a beautiful day, he snarls. I said, nobody wants you here. A lot want me here, said my delusional scammer. I said, you make it unsafe online. And in response to being told, a lot want him there. I said, no, no, they don't. You're a cancer. Go away. They do, said my child, <laughs> slipping into pigeon and then blocked me. <laughs> So I know we had the first half of that, but I wanted to do it because he, he kept returning. I wanted to see if I could make him mad enough to block me. They do. They, 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 they really do. Now I want you to meet Carol Barrowman. In real life, this woman is the sister of John Barrowman, who's featured in several of my videos. My British viewers would know him from Doctor Who and Torchwood. Yay, love me some Doctor Who and Torchwood. He's also an incredibly versatile singer and actor and blah, blah, blah. His sister is a writer for a bit of context, and I've read a couple of her books. She's very good. So obviously this one was, you know, bullshit. They'd seen me on John Barrowman's website and decided to hit me up. Didn't last long. I said, apologies, but why are you sending a friend request? I don't know you. Apologies, came the response. You have such a profound impact on my brother career with your comments, love and support. A thank you text would fail to express our gratitude to you. We love you. At John Barrowman would like you to write to him personally. Thank you. My name is Carol Barrowman. Thank you for accepting my friend request, which I didn't because, guys, you know, my profile's locked. I don't accept friend requests. I said, no, you're not. You're no relation to anyone famous. This is a dodgy account and John's sister is not online pimping out her very gay brother. Um, my God, you guys are ridiculous. And I'd accidentally sent it before I finished writing ridiculous. So he got ridy, but doesn't matter. He didn't notice. Oh, I'm John Barrowman's sister, came the response. And in response to thank you for accepting my friend request, I wrote I didn't. And in response, I'm John Barrowman's sister. I said, no, you're not. You're not even female. You're about 19 using a shit format. My hold account was hacked by scammers. He tries. I said, get a real job. And no, it wasn't. And for a writer, your English is shit. It's 9 p.m. Go to bed like all good little boys. At which point they vanished and haven't been back. Now, the video is finished. But I do have, obviously, Instagram chats. I will do that in a, a different um, video tomorrow. But I just wanted to ask you guys, I've got this scammer that I covered ages back, Marshall, who has now come back to do some more begging, right? Like a lot of begging. Um, and he sent me a voice note, which I'll play you guys because I really don't understand a word he's saying. Um, so... I'm thinking I've got a couple here that just keep returning and I might do a, another begging scammers video. So here's the voice note of a scammer who's active right now who has sent me a voice note begging for me to forgive him and to be his friend. Yeah. I mean, can you know you I've probably been away. You just forget about me all because of them. Anyway, I'm just checking up on you, how you doing? I just signed up from my institution. And like I'm just kind of happy if you wish you. Say hi to you, you know? Just feel free. You know? Don't be like kind of upset with me now, you know? Mad at me. I apologize sincerely. Can we just be free to each other and talk? Don't mind. Thanks very much. It just sounded like he opened up with meow and then, I don't know, he, it sounds like his balls haven't dropped yet. He also sent a photo with a couple of his friends and asked me if I could identify him in those photos. So I'm going to finish off by showing you the photo. So he's one of these four guys and I'm trying to figure out which one would have a voice so, um, I don't know, so meow. I'm thinking of the dude in the blue shirt, to be fair. I don't know. Um, so there you go. So another begging scammer. So I might do a bit of a, a 
you know, compilation of the, the begging scammers that started off. Um, some of it gets a little bit uh, graphic. And I also have my Instagram. Um, it's been a little slow on Insta recently. They've been a little bit better at taking them down. But don't worry, I do still have compilations of scams there. Um, there you go. So like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Bit of a nothing burger of a, a video. But uh, I just wanted to let you guys know thank you for your support. Um, I will, um, probably re-release the story time video, but just under a express link only to a few people. So let me know who would like it. Uh -huh. yeah. So thank you to everyone for all your kind words and thoughts. And I just wanted to release something so you know that I am thinking of you guys back as well. And I have not forgotten and there is stuff going on in the background and there may or may not be a collab happening with somebody. Um, so talk to you guys soon. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Love you guys. Bye.